He's known as one of the finest folk artists of the 20th century. Chester Cornett made very little money from his talent when he was alive, but his works are impacting people more than 30 years after his death. He had a troubled life full of marital discord, but Chester Cornett from the Appalachian region of Kentucky found peace in a skill he acquired at an early age. He was raised by his grandfather, grandmother, and his uncle, and, his, and the men in the family taught him his chair-making skills. The complex artist died in 1981, but an important part of his legacy lives on. More than two dozen of the famed folk artist's rocking chairs and other objects are on display at the Kentucky Museum in an exhibit called Chester Cornet, Beyond the Narrow Sky. Folk art is dynamic, and every person that puts their knife, in this case, putting their knife to wood, shares a part of themselves and tells a part of their history and their personal life journey. From the most vibrant and eye-catching piece of the collection, the serpent chair. Even the eyes of the... Uh, of the uh, snake. Those are pegs that hold it all together, so it's an amazing amount of pegging work. To the presidential chair that was presented at the White House. There's also a picture of, of him along with the uh, Cincinnati congressman. So Chester and Richard Nixon and the, and the congressman are there in the Oval Office. The exhibit is a lesson in lifelong learning for all who visit. Being innovative, taking in the world around you, um, and, 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 and creating your own sensibilities based on your own experience through life. So that's what I really want people to take away. Chester Cornett, Beyond the Narrow Sky, will remain on display at the Kentucky Museum through November 9th. If you'd like to arrange a tour, please call 270-745-2592. With this week's View from the Hill, I'm Amy Bingham.